Hello, this is Bharat Desai from the Nutanix Tech Marketing Team. And in this video, I'll show you how easy it is to create VMs on a Nutanix cluster running ESXi. Let's get started. Let's start by using Prism to create a new VM. Before that, what I've already done uh, beforehand is uploaded an ISO image of uh, Windows Server 2016 to the default container. So now let's go back to Prism element phase to create a new VM, go to the VM page, hit create VM. Give it a name. Tell which OS we will be installing, which is 2016. Populate the fields for your virtual CPUs and memory. Add a new disk. And then we'll go ahead and mount the ISO that I've already uploaded. You can add a nick. Go ahead and add a VMX net three. And that's it. Hit save. We should now go ahead and create the new VM on the cluster. So let's go back to vCenter. Look at the cluster. And there's a VM that's created. Now we can power on the VM and go to the steps of installing the OS and setting up the VM as required. That's how you create a VM using Prism Element. But now let's go and see how to create VMs using Prism Central. Now, as I've said in previous videos, Prism Central is a multi-cluster management from Nutanix where it can manage more than one cluster. So to create a VM with Prism Central, go to Virtual Infrastructure, VMs, and then hit Create VM. And because Prism Central is multi-cluster, the first step is now selecting the cluster on which you want the VM created, which in our case is the ESXi cluster. Go ahead and hit OK. And then you will go ahead and fill out the same fields that we filled out while creating the VM in the Prism element. And there you now have a VM created through Prism Central. And finally, you can also use v, uh, vCenter to create a new VM uh, if required. So let me walk, walk through that. Give it a name. Select the data center. Select this cluster. Put it on the default container. ESXi7. Select the OS, which is 2016. And then go ahead and mount the ISO. We should connect it. And that's it. You can still create your VMs through vCenter as you would on any other storage. So as you saw, it's very straightforward and simple to create VMs either through vCenter as you used to, or leverage Prism Element or Prism Central to create new VMs.